Acupuncture has been used here in China for thousands of years, and now it is being used around the world to treat things such as inflammation, pain, headaches, and much more. Acupuncture is the act of inserting small needles into various points in the body called acupoints. Acupuncture in the past had a very mystical nature to it. It wasn't explained by science, it was explained by you could improve the flow of qi or through meridian points or something like this. And this caused a lot of people to kind of push away acupuncture and disregard it as a real treatment method. In recent years, acupuncture has been studied more and more, not just here in China, but in various places around the world, such as Harvard University. And through this research, they have found scientific mechanisms as to why some people may feel decreased pain or have decreased inflammation from certain types of acupuncture. In this video, I'm gonna take you through four different acupuncture treatments that I had on my left shoulder and my right knee. I actually had pain in both my left shoulder and my right knee. My left shoulder was more acute with just two or four days and the right knee was more chronic with about three years of pain. Now this one was due to a larger injury that is kind of slowly getting out. So I wanted to see does acupuncture help with this acute inflammation, acute pain, and does it help with this chronic pain that I'm feeling in the knee? I will take you through my personal experience and show you did acupuncture help these two injuries. I will also go through what the most recent science says on acupuncture and give you the cost breakdown of acupuncture here in China. If you are someone who is thinking about using acupuncture as a treatment method for back pain, knee pain, shoulder pain, or decreased inflammation, something like this, then this video may be helpful to you. I want to preface this video and say that I am not a medical doctor, physician, or Chinese traditional medicine practitioner. This is simply my personal experience. I'm going to show you what it looks like to go through acupuncture and give you the science, and I am in no way recommending that you do this for yourself. If it looks like something that might be helpful to you, then you can reach out to your physician, your doctor, and see if it might be right for you. Let's go into the first acupuncture session. 这是我右手的膝盖他们两位是一起受伤的还是说分开的 他的膝盖大概两年前还是三年前做过针灸在广州有五次的针灸效果是挺好的但是现在也是有一点点痛上臂是做哪个动作比较合适这个这样子的动作哪一条肌肉比较疼自己能不能感觉出来你把这个T
。哦，三十分钟。我数了多少根针？二四六八十，十二十四，十六根针吧。啊，然后这个有什么作用？那个电？这个啊，嗯，它会感觉有一些温热。啊，有促进这个血液和经络循环，消炎的会。感觉就。为什么要转呀？是不是行一行，真让他得一得气，增强一下作用？嗯。有血吗？有一点点。啊，一点点。我感觉这个应该挺多，这种比如踢足球啊那些运动的，爱运动的，爱不爱运动都有。运动。Okay, thirty minutes of acupuncture done, and actually, the pain in the shoulder is completely gone in in all of the ranges right now. So I'll let you know in the next couple of days. And then the knee, I need to test out really quick. This position hurt. There's still some pain in the knee here. So we'll see how that goes in the next couple days, and I'll update. Okay, it is now Sunday. My first acupuncture treatment was on Thursday, and the acupuncturist recommended that I come back three to five total times, with one to two days in between appointments. The shoulder pain is 95 to 98 percent gone. There's actually no pain when there's no weight bearing. So if I externally rotate here, there's nothing, no stiffness, no pain. If I if I circumduct, no no pain, no anything. So before I could pass the pain, there's a little bit of stiffness. Now there's nothing. And before I could only lift up to maybe about here in the active hang, then I got pain in the left shoulder, and that was on Thursday. And now I have full range in the active hang. There's a little bit of stiffness at the very top, but no pain whatsoever. And I'm just gonna try a one-arm hang and see how the. Okay, there is some stiffness there, but there's actually no pain right now. And then in the knee, like I said, I have no problem squatting, and that's never been an issue with with this injury for the past long time. But I had an issue sitting cross-legged, and right now there's still pain, the same as it was on Thursday. So right now there's been no difference between. Thursday and today. So we're gonna go right now. Take the subway to get our second treatment. It like Goku from the the tank in the water. The knee one really hurt today. She put it in super deep. The bed's too small for my body. Last time, my, this arm was falling off and I couldn't move it because I had the acupuncture in there. So this time, I made sure to move over, but now this hand is hanging on by a thread. All right, second time done. My shoulder feels awesome. Like almost, almost nothing there now. Like if I said 95 to 98 before, probably at 99 right now. Actually, that feels a bit better. The uh, electric stimulus that they put on today felt fantastic. So I'm gonna have two more sessions, one on Tuesday, one on Thursday most likely, and we'll see how the knee is doing and the shoulder after those two extra uh, acupuncture sessions. We're about to go to my third appointment for the acupuncture, and so far the shoulder is still 99%. There are very few uh, scenarios where I feel a little bit of tightness, but there's no pain in basically anything that I do from hanging to just moving it around feels great. Um, there is some uh, cracking every now and again, but it's non-painful and I think it's normal for the injury process. And then with the knee, 
Um, it does feel better after that second acupuncture, like I said. It's been feeling the same after that sec second acupuncture. So the relief that I felt during and after that acupuncture session has lasted until today. Uh, in, the, in the second session, she added electricity to the acupuncture and she said she didn't add this the first time because people are usually very sensitive to the first acupuncture treatment. So, so she wanted to see how I reacted to the acupuncture the first time. And then the second time, uh, I wasn't so sensitive. So she said, we can add it in. Felt like a heartbeat in my leg. Like, uh, I remember asking Max to videotape it. And um, I, I told her, can you see my knee moving? Because it felt like, like the whole muscle was moving like this. So let's go to the third session. Okay, third session done. Just subjectively, shoulder feels 100%. Not even like a little sensation of anything. And then knee has gotten better. I would say it doesn't even hurt right now when I'm sitting like this, and usually it does. But we'll see tomorrow and the next day if that continues. This is the main position that hurts it. There's also like if I... That usually hurts when I go like that, but now I don't even have pain. Yeah, usually I have pain when I do something like this. But right there, right now there's actually nothing there. So I don't know if that's the right after that acupuncture and then maybe tomorrow I'll get it back. So we'll see after the fourth session if that stays there. I hope it does. I'm really happy about what I just did. All right, we're on our way to the fourth and final acupuncture treatment, taking the subway now. Max and I actually just came back from rock climbing as well. Had no problems rock climbing, even with the, the injury, so I think this is completely healed. But I'll still get acupuncture treatment here. And the knee does feel better, but there is still pain when I cross it. So we'll see what happens on this last treatment. <笑>医生我上次到建州的园林是什么 all right, fourth and final acupuncture is done. Like I said, there's no problem with my shoulder at all. And now my knee, there is still some pain, but it is greatly reduced. And we're gonna do some tests right now just to see how it feels. So the first piece of pain, I would feel uh, pain at the bottom of a pistol squat. And that is gone. The second one was when I would do a split squat, I'd feel pain at the bottom. Now that pain is almost non-existent. Several months later, a few updates. The shoulder is doing fantastic. In fact, the upper body is the strongest that it has ever been in the last few years. So this injury is 100% healed. Then the knee is also doing much better. There are still some painful positions, such as sitting cross-legged for long periods of time, but some patterns that I was unable to do previously are now there pain-free, such as some single leg squatting variations. So you can say that the knee is about 95%, just a few positions that cause a little bit of pain here and there. Now into the research. The research that I want to go into was introduced to me through the Huberman Lab podcast, which is a podcast and YouTube channel. If you have not heard of them or seen their podcasts, listened to their podcasts, I highly recommend that you do, not just on acupuncture, but on a variety of different topics. So I will link the Huberman Lab podcast and the link to the study in this, the description of this video. This study was published in 2020 from Chofu Ma's lab. 
Tilfoma is a neurobiologist at Harvard School of Medicine. Now, it is important to note that his study looked at electroacupuncture, the same acupuncture that you saw on my knee where they added electrical currents to the acupuncture treatment. In this study, they found that electroacupuncture could cause either anti-inflammatory or pro-inflammatory effects on the body depending on the amount of current and where the acupuncture, electrical, electroacupuncture was done in the body. In this study, they found that low intensity electroacupuncture to the lower body caused anti-inflammatory effects and thus decreased pain due to that decreased inflammation. If you want to look more deeply into the research, which I highly recommend that you do, the link to this study is in the description of this video. Please, Please read through the entire study and don't just look at the abstract as you won't get the full idea. It is a little bit long, but it's worth the read through if you're interested in the mechanisms of acupuncture. Now, what is the cost of acupuncture here in China? Now, in China, acupuncture is quite popular and people will do it throughout the year for various reasons. Due to this popularity and the fact that there are a lot of good practitioners here in China, the cost is quite low when compared to a country such as America. So I have done acupuncture two separate times for a total of about nine sessions. This time I did four sessions. The last time I did it in 2018, I did five sessions. Um, and the price has stayed around the same between that. So in my experience, anywhere from 100 to 200 renminbi per session is the standard. Of course, you could go low, I'm sure you can find lower, and I'm sure you can find higher. Now, right now, uh, 100 renminbi is about 15 US dollars. So you'd be looking at anywhere from 15 to 30 US dollars for one acupuncture treatment. And acu acupuncture treatments last between 30 minutes to one hour. They could be shorter, they could be longer, but this is my experience. 30 minutes to one hour. In this video, I had four total acupuncture treatments, each treatment lasting 30 minutes. So in total, I had two hours of treatment and it cost 501 renminbi, which is about 75 US dollars. So if you are in China and you're looking for acupuncture, it is incredibly affordable. Um, I have heard others having acupuncture in the US and being extremely expensive. So depending on where you live, maybe it is cost efficient for you and maybe not. The good news is with all of these new studies in highly recognizable journals, some health insurance companies are starting to either semi cover uh, some Chinese traditional medicine or fully cover them and acupuncture is one of the more popular ones. So you might be able to find a insurance provider that fully covers a certain amount of acupuncture treatments or covers a certain amount of the acupuncture treatment. So if this is something that you're looking into, look into your health ins insurance provider and maybe they have that option for you. Or if they don't, maybe they'll have it in the near future when more and more studies come out on the topic. I hope this video was informational and that you take the information from this video with a grain of salt. Look into the studies, look into the videos, explore it for yourself and see if it's going to be a viable option for you. I would never say that everyone must do acupuncture, everyone must not do acupuncture. I think it's a very individual basis and maybe, depending on the injury and the person, it might work for you. Again, I am not a traditional Chinese medicine practitioner, so I can't answer any in-depth questions on acupuncture. I can that being said, if you do have a general question, I am more than happy to answer it in the comments down below. And if I am able to answer it, I will. Thank you for watching and that's the session.